I removed the vice, not to disregard you. It's because it's no longer my vice. You have to forgive me, but it has been more than five years since I've had drinks. Even if I am with friends. What? If I don't like it? I like it. A lot. I don't need to pretend to be a saint. I've been a real drunk, as few have been. But nowadays, I don't drink. Even though the devils haunt me. I started with my vice before I got married. And after being married, I drank more and more. Poor of my old woman. She was always good to me. Even though I made her suffer so much, she never lost the love for me. She was a saint, the poor woman, and I was no good to her. Just to stop her suffering, I got rid of my vice. But the good time didn't last very long. And tragedy struck, and suddenly, one night, she stood still like a little bird. They say it was her heart, but I don't really know what it was. I feel it in my conscience that it was my damn vice, the one who took her away, leaving my son and I so lonely. A little child, only eight years old, that became an orphan at the age he was in most need of his mother's affection. I felt despair seeing him, seeing me, seeing me so alone with my son. Poor little creature, poorly dressed, unattended, always by himself, always remembering the angel he'd lost. Then, in order to stop thinking, I returned harder to my vice, because of being wasted, I found myself at ease. And when I was so drunk and my judgment was lost, it seemed like my deceased was there with me. So after work, I'd go with my friends and after, half drunk, I'd buy a lot of liquor and return to my home where my son waited. And there, I drank harder and harder, drink after drink until I was so wasted, and that was the idiocy. I've already told you that I grew so drunk, I was able to see my dead wife. She came to talk with me and started telling me things with a lot of love, and I answered her as if it was true that I was seeing her. Meanwhile, my son hugged me, scared, telling me, the poor child, Where is my mommy? Tell me, Dad, where is she? Is it true that you're talking with her? How come I can't see her? She, Don't you see her, dumb kid? Go to her, so she can... Don't you see her, damn kid? Go to her, so you can see her and hug her. And the poor kid cried, opening his little eyes wide, being so scared and searching for the one he loved so much. One night, returning from work, I came, and upon opening the door, Oh, Jesus, what I saw, curled up in a ball on the ground, laying there was my child, laughing and laughing like a crazy, and he was yelling in anguish. What's the matter with you? What happened? Have you turned completely crazy? And then I saw it on the table, the bottle of liquor I left full, entirely empty. Immediately, I realized, and I became insanely mad. What have you done, malevolent rascal? You drank the liquor, so you can learn to be a good kid. I'm going to bust your d mouth. Immediately, with so much fear that made him lucid, and with an 
anguished voice that I will never forget. He told me, do not hit me, do not hit me. I'm not bad, Daddy. I did it only so I could see my mom. Like, when she talks with you. I did it so she could kiss me and give me a lot of hugs. Since then, I don't drink, regardless of being with friends. It's not that I want to diss you, but it's no longer my vice. And when I want to give in, when I feel the temptation of having a drink, I just have to remember of my kid, and then I don't drink. I don't care if all the devils are trying to take me.